Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to cover how to easily import symbols and footprints into your EDA software. This process that we're going to be using today is extremely useful to your development workflow and uh, it should work with most popular EDA or ECAD software uh, like KiCad, Eagle, or Altium. You'll notice that I have a web page open here. This is Component Search Engine, as you can see in the upper left hand corner. We'll be using this website to find and create the symbols uh, or footprints that we need for our project. First, however, we need to install a piece of software that works very well with the Component Search Engine site. Plus, there's some configuration we need to do first. Uh, this software, if I can pull it up here, is called Library Loader, uh, and it's developed by a company uh, named Symaxis. Remember this name as you'll want to know it for later. Go ahead, download, install, and run this software. Links to these websites are all in the description of the video if you need them. Uh, and of course, leave a comment if there's something that you can't find. While you're waiting for that to install, actually go back to the Component Search Engine website and create an account. You'll do that with the register button right up here. Uh, it's free and you'll need it to sign into your library loader as well. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. So I'm all ready to go. So once you have library loader installed and opened, we have a bit of setup to do. You'll see here, uh, it's just, just this small little window and there are gonna be a couple of things that you may see are blank for you, but I already have filled in. So first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to find your downloads folder. It's pretty good at identifying this right away. However, uh, you may need to change it or if you have uh, multiple drives and you have your downloads folder configured to be on a different drive, you will need to set that in here. Also, you'll see uh, your ECAD tool. So I have mine set to KiCad EDA. It's what I've been using most, recent, uh, using most recently. Um, and it's what I need to import these files for. So I'm gonna go ahead and select KiCad EDA and I'll go to settings and you'll see here that it is looking for a library directory. So I have mine already configured to my, um, so this is going to be the folder for my project. And of course this is the folder for my parts libraries. Um, it'll give you a readout here of the component library file, documentation file, the footprint library folder, and the 3D model folder. And you'll notice that all of these say some access. That's why I said to kind of keep that name in the back of your head. Um, because if you're looking for these parts, if you're in uh, Eagle, Altium, KiCad, whatever, it's going to be under these folders titled some access. You can rename them later. However, there's a bit of, uh, you know, you have to get into the weeds to do that. Um, so we're just gonna leave this as is, and if you ever need to change it in the future, you can. So there are two other options here. Um, launch KiCad on download. So when it detects that you download one of these models, it will launch KiCad or launch your EDA software automatically. I don't like that because sometimes what I'll do is I'll download maybe five or six files at a time, have library loader process them. I don't want that many instances of KiCad running and maybe I just don't want KiCad running at all while I'm doing this. And then also show library import instructions. This may be good for some first timers. If maybe you use this once or twice and then you don't use it for a couple of months and come back to it, it's helpful for the reminder. But I'm gonna leave both of those unchecked for now. Uh, there's also this profile setting and you'll notice I have my username signed in down below. Um, that's for my component search engine profile. They're all managed under the same you know, general login. So you can set up your profile however you'd like, agree to the terms, login, password reset, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna mess with that right now, but you may need to sign in on your own to, uh, to get started. So let's go ahead and find a part that we want I uh, was on Mauser the other day and I found this really nice op amp. It is going to be just what I need. Okay, whatever. On Mauser, it actually shows if you look under the ECAD model header here, it already has these and it says download the free library loader tool. We already got that checked out to convert this file for your ECAD tool. So the ECAD model is kind of an overarching model and each piece of software is going to interpret it differently um, so library loader goes ahead and formats it for your specific EDA ECAD software. Anyway, um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this ECAD model. I want the PCB symbol, footprint, and 3D model. It's nice that it includes a 3D model for it. So if you are generating a preview image, uh, it's there and ready for you. So I'll go ahead and open this up. And you'll see that there are three different things on here. You have the symbol, which is gonna go on your schematic, the footprint, which is going to go on your PCB design, and the 3D model, which you can actually click and drag. And so this is if you're generating a 3D render of your product or your design. So if I go here to download ECAD models, uh, it wants to download multiple files. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit allow. And you'll notice that it brings up this page in the component search engine. And you can tell that it comes from Mauser Electronics because it has an MS at the beginning of this. It'll give you the part ID. It should give you uh, the preview image that Mauser displays. It'll say members, free download, new user gets started, et cetera, et cetera. So there are a couple of different ways to do this. I like going through the library loader, but there are some instances where that is not the preferred method. Um, so keep that in mind. We're gonna go through the library loader method here real quick and we'll show you how that's done. So with library loader open, and you must have the window open for this, um, at least in the version that I'm using, I'm not sure if it's the most recent version, um, but at least with the version I'm using, you have to have it open to do this. Now, when we're on the same page, seeing the you know, Texas Instruments, the op amp, it's gonna be the, the product that we had opened originally. Uh, go ahead and click members free download. So this will download something you will see. So I already have this, this file in here, um, but it'll say part already exists, okay to overwrite. It'll just say for you probably added to library, which is great. Um, if you click members free download, you may be prompted to log in. That's where the component search engine uh, account that I had you create earlier comes in handy. You're going to have to sign in with that. Make sure you, you remember your username and password. Typically the username is just going to be your email address that you signed up with. Um, and then you'll be able to download this. So if I go ahead and open, uh, let's say this parts folder here, I can go ahead in um, I know that this is going to be, you know, this uh, SOP8 or SOT8, whatever, um, footprint. And you can see that this was just modified right now. And if I go into the Symaxis parts, I should be able to see here it is. This matches the imported part. So I can see now that it is imported into this library. So that's great. Library Loader does the heavy lifting for you. Really all you have to down do is download this zip file um, and Library Loader will automatically extract what it needs and throw it in there. However, what if I want just the KiCad library or just the Eagle library or just the Altium library for this part? Well, if you go ahead and open up that zip file that you downloaded from this page, the members page, uh, you'll see that it actually has a subfolder and it has all of the main softwares that it supports. And if I go to KiCad, this has all of the files in it that I would need to have it as a standalone library. So what I could do is I could extract this KiCad file, put it in um, to wherever I need it to go, and then into KiCad or in whatever ECAD software I'm using, identify, excuse me, that this is the location for this library and it should be good to go. You can set it up either as a um, project only library or a global library, it does not matter. But if you wanna have a little bit more control over where your files are going, this is probably the better route. However, I do like the library loader, it works very well. Uh, and just for it importing into that Symaxis overall library, you can see every single one of the parts that you've ever imported um, or at, that you've imported to that specific Symaxis library. It goes without saying, I think that your Eagle footprints and your Eagle uh, symbols are not going to work with KiCad, are not going to work with Altium, are not going to work with EasyEDA. Um, most of them are in different formats and that's why they have so many different folders in here. Um, and they also include a helpful how to use models PDF in here. So you can see actually, um, what the library loader, the part wizard, and the direct model download support in their uh, respective EDA softwares. All right, so now how about for a product or a component 
that might not already have a file generated for it. There are a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm looking for a specific part, I'll say. Um, I guess the first three letters in the part that I was looking for are TLV. I doubt that that part's gonna come up right away, but let's see what comes up. So it looks like an electric, uh, electrolytic capacitor pops up. Um, doesn't have a price or stock option available, but it is from Rubicon. And it looks like uh, there is no model here. So you have two options. You can either build the model yourself uh, or you can request it to be built for you. And typically it's about a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. And honestly, all of the models that I've had auto built for me have worked pretty well if I wanna request them. But say you wanna build it yourself. Okay, so Rubicon, here's the part number, here's the data sheet link, pin count, it's probably only got two pins, and then it'll ask you for a package category. Right away, it picked up aluminum electrolytic capacitor. Let's go ahead and do that and launch the build wizard. Might take a minute here because it is opening kind of an applet in here. Ah, okay. so. There are a couple of steps you have to go through. I didn't want to go through all of these. I just wanted to show you that this was an option. Uh, however, if you would like me to do a video on this, I can. Uh, I can also show you how to build footprints in a specific software, if that's what you're looking for. Just comment down below what you'd like to see. But as of now, I can go ahead and open KiCad if I want to open this specific project. Actually, let me get that open here one sec. So here we go. I have my KiCad project open. If I go into Preferences, Manage Symbol Libraries, and I know that I've already set my Symaxis library to a project specific library. I can come in here and see that yes, it is quite active. And uh, if I really wanted to, I could go into my, um, I go to symbol editor. This may take a minute to load up. And if I scroll down to Symaxis parts, here we go. I can expand this and I can see all of the parts that I had open. So here's this operational amplifier that I had just added. Uh, it's in here. It should also be in the footprints as well. And uh, I should be good to go at this point. Now, again, I'm using KiCad for the example here because it's the software that I've been using you know, most recently and it's what I need this part for. But if you'd like to see other specific softwares, like I said, let me know down in the description, or let me know down in the comments, and uh, you should be able to find all the rest of the information you need to do this in the links in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content similar to this, please leave a like or comment so I'm aware of what uh, people need to see. And I, again, I know I do a lot of uh, KiCad specific things or Eagle specific things, but if there are other softwares you'd like me to use, I could acquire them pretty easily, I'd imagine. And uh, I can also cover different topics about electronics design. I know that there are plenty of EE students or EECS students uh, that could benefit from some of these videos. So I'll try to put out as many as I can, but I need to know what you guys need to see. So uh, again, thank you so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Adios.